Hello folks, my name is Sam Mitchell and I'm giving you the grand tour of Crazy Crane Campground here at the end of the road. Uh, the address here, 7580 East Ringer Court, Inverness, Florida, 34453. If you would like to Google it. So this is this absolutely gorgeous. 0.69 acres technically is the size of the most beautiful waterfront lot you will find in Citrus County, Florida. And I'm just going to uh, try to keep my finger out of the way of this video. And just give you the grand tour. And we're going to... Uh, Kind of go along the edges now this lot is at the it's the very last road at the end of a sand road so and it's a peninsula that sticks out like a uh like a thumb so uh this lot is the thumbnail so you understand that on three sides you are fronting uh, Lake Sala Apopka. And it's not so much open water here. It is mostly uh, this beautiful marshland where the uh, sandhill cranes and other water birds nest. And it's so mostly it's airboat going through here but I just want you to understand that we do have a canal a all legally permitted cutting out to the main channel so we have had a an outboard motor here for the past year so we might as well start with the uh with the dock and that's uh, a beautiful can you see the canoe and kayak so you can bring in obviously canoe kayak i apologize for this wind i have been trying to make this video for a week and this wind will not stop so i'm going ahead so what this is this dock is a floating dock it is a an old uh, uh, pontoon boat that we have decked over and uh, I call this the moonrise dock absolutely spectacular gorgeous moonrises here the full moon at night here is just absolutely magical so that's looking back towards the lot and uh, <clears throat> I am in the process of cleaning these water lilies out. I just I just use a pole, just go along with this pole with this blade on it. You need to clean the water lilies out about once a year. Now you can hire somebody to do it, or I just do it myself. So this is the view uh, looking, uh, this is looking kind of north east up there into the rain good i don't know why they make it so hard to keep your finger out of this so this is the view from the end of the dock and you just head out and you can go all the way to inverness you can you can take a motor boat an air boat from here all the way uh into inverness you can go for miles and miles uh this is Okay, so that is a beautiful dock, and as I say, we're just going to go around the uh, go around the edges here. So you can try to get an idea, and then all of the it's all high and dry in the middle. You know, this is kind of the building site here, but. Uh, all right, so this is looking out into the sunrise, absolutely spectacular sunrises from here every morning. Now, originally, 
what this area is, this is an airboat landing. There's still a, that's the old channel. So you have airboat access. You can, you can park your airboat right here or at the dock. So you have outboard motor boat access from there and you can bring your airboat from two points. Now this thing here is one of the great features of, uh, of this lot. This is the most beautiful view in Citrus County. So uh, this is an old deer stand. Actually, uh, I hear it was for hunting wild hogs. This was, uh, Crazy Crane was an old hunt, hunting and fishing camp. And this is an absolutely glorious place to have your uh, morning coffee and your evening, your evening cocktail. So this is the view from, uh, if I can get my finger out of there. So I'm sitting up here. This is the uh, the view, and you look at you look out all the way. You can see the uh, the tower at the Inverness Airport blinking at night. But this is just an unbelievably beautiful place to hang out up here in the deer stand or the hog stand. So. Uh, Oh, this is a good place to offer the the overview of of the lot from up here. Okay, finger stay out of there. This was a very bad design flaw in this phone. So I'm back down the ladder. Anybody wanting the most beautiful view in Citrus County, it is right here. Uh, okay. Now, I've reinforced this thing last year, so it feels perfectly safe to me. Okay, and so continuing around the uh, the border here is the the hammock uh, pad. This wind really likes to grab this hammock. This is an absolutely beautiful place to hang to hang in the hammock. And uh, now I'm planning to take this picnic table with me, but we can talk about that so heading now we're heading uh we're looking pretty much all of this is direct southern exposure this whole area along here we have this giant fire pit for bonfires at night this is a gorgeous place for uh bonfires and then this whole area out here, this is the sunset viewpoint. And you know, if you if you do have a couple of mosquitoes at sunset, this beautiful screen house will keep you safe from uh, safe from the skeeters. So uh this is the view out the south and the west. These beautiful oak trees. Now the water is up higher than the neighbors are saying. This is the highest the water <clears throat> has been in years. <clears throat> okay, and so this is the view of the lot. Uh, again, it's 0.69 acres. I'm guessing it's about 300 feet across here in the middle. <clears throat> All right, I need to, uh, this building right here, I need to talk about these buildings because obviously anybody here is going to be interested. What this is, is a 12 by 16 foot 
outdoor kitchen. This is a beautiful, well-built building. Now, it was built without permits, and I did get busted by the county. Uh, so my intention is to dismantle this building and move it up to my place in New York. This beautiful outdoor kitchen. Uh, but it's going to be a job if, if you're really interested in buying this beautiful kitchen. We would have to, you know, work together with the county. Uh, see what they want out of us. I mean, I'm willing to do that for someone who wants to purchase this beautiful building. The price on the kitchen is $12,000. Worth every penny. Uh, and we also have this very nice little barn. Uh, it's 8 by 10 uh, with 8 foot ceilings and a loft. I mean, this is a it's not just some little 8 by 10 shed. Uh, I'm asking $3,000 for the shed. Now, the shed can actually be moved. You can actually uh, move it to another place on the property or just sell it. And, and uh, this can be put on a truck and taken out of here. And then we have a little five foot by five foot shed as well. But anyway, understand that these two buildings are not included in the 49.9. 15,000 for the two buildings. Okay, so this is where I was going to build, where I have my little camper. This is a great place. I mean, if you're just looking for a weekender place while you're thinking about building you, you can put a camper anywhere on this property i mean you can bring in a big camper i'm 99 percent sure you can bring a mobile out here so i was my original intention was to build a stilt house right here you know with the parking underneath the house so i just want to give you an idea what the view is we're gonna go up and uh so if you you know if you built the parking underneath your house this would be you know what i'm saying would be the view from uh where you're standing you know on the first level of your house so uh this is the view that you would be having there you know there is the dock heading out that way to the lake and uh it's just absolutely beautiful up here guys uh so there's the kitchen down there and you really need to if you're interested in this place you are welcome to come spend the night out here the the energy of this place at night is absolutely magical particularly on a in the full moon the full moonlight dappling through these trees you know out here with a uh out here with a uh a bonfire going in the full moon all right let me climb down from the roof of the trailer cause I so anyway this lot I am asking 49.9 for it I invite you to uh, I invite you to research uh, I invite you to research waterfront lots in Citrus County Florida and, and th th this lot is so far and above at the head of the pack go look at every other waterfront lot in uh, go shop every other waterfront lot in Inverness Florida 
and come back and uh, buy this one. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. And before I wrap this up, I just gonna do a brief mention. What is going on with the house next door? Uh, it is getting ready to come up on the market. Uh, it's this very interesting property. It's a dome house. It is a hurricane-proof dome house. This is uh, 7570 uh, East Ringer Court in Inverness, Florida. It's on about two-thirds of an acre. So anyway, at some point in the next, I would say, three to four months, this property is going to be coming up on the market. Now, I am not the seller, but I have the key to the house and whatnot. I can give you the grand tour of this place, and if you were able to buy both of these places, uh, you would uh, d just have this absolute end-of-the-road waterfront paradise. But... Uh, I can't give you that much information. There's no price set on it, but my guess is you can uh, get an excellent price on this house. It will be sold in as-is condition, probably, unfortunately, all cash. Now, speaking of uh, money, I am willing to carry the paper on my lot. Uh, this side of the boundary will be all cash but my lot i am willing to carry a note with half down so with twenty five thousand dollars down i am willing to carry a note at five percent interest for five years and we can amortize that to make the payment uh you know, I mean, we can have it paid off in five years. We can amortize it over 10, 15, 20 years, whatever. You know, with a balloon. Dude, this is the, the Sandhill Cranes coming in. So anyway, guys, uh, if you need to uh, talk to me about this, uh, send me a... Uh, <clears throat> uh, well, just uh, how, how are we going to do this? You can find this on Zillow. The best thing to do is go on Zillow.com and uh, put in 7580 East Ringer, R-I-N-G-E-R Court in Inverness, Florida. And uh, you can find all of my contact information and whatnot so anyway come see me and, and come plan to spend the night and i tell you after you spend one night in this magical place you will say sold enjoy goodbye